This is the newest RTX card available on the market right now. Ray tracing a galore DLSS till your eyes bleed. 4K gaming heaven. This is what the card was made to do. I couldn't believe the amount of power myself, so we had to test out this beast and see what it would do. And as I said before, this is the latest RTX card from NVIDIA available right now that you can go and buy almost probably maybe for the next couple of hours because this isn't the RTX 3000 card. Uh, it might be a bit disappointing to you, but this is uh, the ASUS ROG Strix uh, 2080 Super. So... <laughs> Yeah, we all heard the rumors by now about the new RTX 3000 series coming out very soon. Actually, it should, by the time you're watching this video, it should probably be announced quite soon or maybe even already because it's in a couple of hours from making this video. But before that, while we still wait for the new RTX 3000 cards to come out, I can actually go and buy some to make videos on. We got this baby in from ASUS and we kind of needed to test it out to see how it would compare to the new RTX 3000 series. So we decided just why not do a video on it as well and see how it performs currently in a 2020 and see if it's actually still a card you might be wanting to get. Although you can't really buy it new anymore. We checked around, there's honestly not any stock left and that's usually the case for some of the newer cards it's just really lacking stock you can buy it a second hand but even then it'll cost you almost a thousand dollars compared to the eight hundred dollars it actually cost when the rtx 20 super came out so it is still quite expensive but that should only be for the next couple of months while the rtx 3000 cards are being released onto the market and everybody's going to sell their older cards so that is where this might actually be a potential really good upgrade to go for if you do have a older card and wanted to potentially upgrade because you can sometimes snag some really nice deals and again this is still a beast of a card so just for the design real quick, it pretty much looks like all of the other ROG Strix GPUs with its triple fan design, some RGB around the sides and also on the back of the back plate. And then also it's still really massive. So you might want to have some support <laughs> in your case. Now taking a look at the back four just for your IO, you do have a two display port version 1.4s, two HDMI 2.0 B ports, and then also one at type C port. For power, you do have a dual 8-pin power connection that draws around 300 watts. For our overclock, we were able to get a 2,040 MHz on the core and 8,060 MHz for our memory overclock, which is pretty good. But if you wanted to, you can just use the OC scanner built into most of the overclocking tools these days, or just use a SUSE's tweak tool preset options. There's already an overclock option right there for you. As for the max temperatures of the GPU, we only reach a max of 59 degrees Celsius with the fans running at 47% and still staying quiet at only 44 dBs. So then for our benchmarks, uh, then we can see that this card is perfect for 1440p gaming on high to ultra settings. And even on 4K, the 2080 Super is quite uh, good, just uh, dipping now and then below 60 FPS, but again on pretty much Mac settings on some of the games. So you just adjust that a bit downwards, some of the settings to reach that over 60 FPS.
Now, I know that some of you might be a bit salty because of the kind of clickbait title. It's honestly not really. <laughs> it is the newest, the RTX 2080 Supers or the newest range of RTX cards released by NVIDIA. So not entirely true for the next few hours again. So yeah, we just quickly want to make a little review of the card because we already needed to benchmark it for the new cards that's coming out. Uh, so we just decided I haven't done a review on the card yet, so why not? And uh, if you are looking to get this card, maybe after the, the new RTX 3000 cards are released, they will drop in price. They might become actually really cheap, cheap or you might actually get a really good deal second hand. So we just want to make this a video to show you guys. It still performs really well and then uh, it might actually be a quite a good buy if you are looking for a secondhand car. So yeah, thanks to AC South Africa for sending it over for review. If you guys like this review, please like, share, subscribe and comment like always. And then I will check all of you guys next time. Cheers guys.